Right, hey guys, now this is not the tutorial, I was hoping to release a film to release one about um, how to make a decent looking themed roller coaster in no limits, but um, that's on hold at the moment um, because I haven't quite finished it yet. Um, so I'm going to gonna show you how to make a traditional looking um, Chinese water meteor. Um, it looks kind of like this. Um, and it's actually not that hard to make. There are a few things you'll need though. You need two stainless steel bowls, eight split rings, like you can on key rings, and then six one foot long pieces of chain connected to the bowl. And yeah. You'll need about two meters of soft, soft ish rope, and two carabiners. Extra things will include tape, electrician's tape, gaffer tape, um, rice, um, about 400 grams of rice, and two food baggies. Right, let's get started. First of all, get your 2 meter length of rope, and take about 2 inches and fold it back, thread a needle, stick it through both pieces, round, 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 back through the opposite direction, uh, round, 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 tie it off, tape it, repeat that process. Twice. Take one carabiner, split it open on one end, like so. To note when that pulls, it says it makes a complete straight line. Do that twice. So you have this. So take one bowl and pierce it every 120 degrees, somewhere between the rim and the bow, just as it goes down. See, every 120 degrees, 360 by 320. One, two, three. Thread a split ring through each hole, and then spread, thread one piece of chain, the one foot, one one foot length of chain, onto each split ring. Bring them up to the top and put them on a single split ring, looking like that. Repeat that process twice. Now simply take your carabiner and your split ring. One like that. One. And two. Now, I bet, now you're asking, what are the additional? Oh God. Um, the additional bags, tape, and 200 grams, 200 grams of juicy milk of rice. Um, if you're like me and you've been practicing with rather heavy meals, you'll notice that they are, God's sake, um, they are relatively lightweight. So, you can use these to make two weights. Split the 400 gram rices into 200 grams each. Pull them in the baggie, roll the bag so it's about parcel size. Take four bits of tape, one, two, three, and four, then take one and go around the edge. This makes a nice little parcel that when it, if it does, if you do drop the meat yarn, it does fall out. Um, it will get scuffed, it will damage, and all that. Um, now, I use them if it's um, a dingy day outside and I don't want to get wet, it, or I don't want to, if I drop it, I don't want to get wet. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, right, in this clip I'm um, I'm demonstrating the different properties and different techniques used for the 2 meter ewer. Um, this one at the moment is water meteor, as you can see it's um, built for performance um, and precision. Um, that's pretty much about, that's all about the meteor, it's built for performance and um, skill. Um, this is um, more traditional, like uh, not more traditional, but more basic point meteor. Um, as you can see, it, it's built for speed, um, and obviously with that comes skill. Um, but it's also built to be dropped. Water meteor isn't so much built to be dropped. Um, and this is this is, is also um, a great one to practice with. Um, I tend to do this a lot. Um, practice with it because I, I spin it the wrong way around, so I practice the other hand with this. This one. is um, this could be an example of how you use um, the weights. You literally just literally place them um, in the bowls, and then I'm going to show you the juice. Right now guys, um, the final thing I'm going to show you is um, the three different evolutions of what I have done to make the meteor what I've made it now. Um, first one off, 
uh, is my practice video. Basically rope with 400 gram bags of rice uh, attached, glued and then taped around the top. Then I use that for practice. Um, uh, sometimes I use for practice. Um, then on, before, after I started doing that and I started to get better at it, I wanted to evolve and I wanted to do what I mean. So my uncle cut me some tubs. So, not very balanced, not very burned, not that bad, but a bit clunky and very heavy when they fall. Um, obviously, done that. That was my second um, evolution, evo evolution. And then obviously, my third evolution, my water bubbles. So that's it for me.